Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our next 2009 California Wrestling Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Dan Gonzalez. His presenter, a former wrestler of Dan's who went on to wrestle at UCLA and is a former National AAU champion, Mr. Brady Hall. For the past 53 years, Dan Gonzalez has been a teacher, coach, department chairperson, athletic director, and now he is currently the district athletic director for Modesto City Schools. Dan graduated from San Jose State University with scholastic honors of great distinction and department honors. Dan ranked fifth in his class of, out of 850 students. During that time, Dan won two Northern California AAU championships. In 1956, Dan started his teaching and coaching career at Modesto High School, where he introduced the first wrestling program to Modesto City Schools. Then in 1961, Dan helped open Grace Davis High School, where he served as a head football coach and wrestling coach for 17 years. Dan's combined record at Modesto and Grace Davis was 197 wins and 77 losses and four ties. Also during that time, Dan coached a total of 48 wrestling dual team and tournament championships, including 15 Modesto City titles seven Central California Championships, and two section team titles. In 1966, Dan's team won the Northern California Invitational Tournament Championship. Six of Dan's wrestlers went on to place in the NC2A Tournament Championships, such as John Azevedo, Lee Erler, Brady Hall, Grant Arnold, Michael Bryan, and Leroy Evans. Dan has served as the athletic director for 21 years while also working as a district athletic chairperson for 18 of those years. Dan retired from teaching in 1996, but continues to serve as an assistant coach for the varsity football team. Dan has coached football for 48 years in the Modesto District. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the 2009 California Russell Hall of Fame, Mr. Dan Gonzalez. Thank you. Wow, this is a a, a tremendous uh, group of people here. I look at the resumes that uh, that uh, are printed in the program and it's uh, phenomenal. Uh, I'm humbled and greatly honored to be a part of this group. First I want to uh, thank, uh, give my thanks because I don't, I, that's the most important part of whatever I'm going to say tonight. Uh, I want to uh, introduce my immediate family way down there in the corner. Uh, would you people please stand up? My immediate family, you guys. <laughs> my wife, Shella, and my three children and their spouses. Then I've got an extended family down there, those other three tables. The O'Brien table, that other table, and this table over here. Would you people please stand up? These are the people that have carried me. Uh, and, uh, and a group of people that are tremendously loyal, and I'm really just pleased as punch for them to be here. We're excited about this. My family's excited about being here, and I'm excited. Uh, that excitement started at about 4 o'clock this morning when I got up like all old guys do and I went to the bathroom. <laughs> and I came back to bed and my wife had made the bed by the time I got back. <laughs> I said, what are you doing? She said, this is a special day. We got to get going here. I said, it's 4 o'clock in the morning. And she says, well, we might as well make of it. So she said, I'm gonna, she's an artist. She says, I'm going to go out back to the studio and I'm going to work on art. You do what you want to do. I walk in the morning, so I said, well, I'm up. I might as well go for my walk. I do a three-mile walk daily. Not fast now, guys. <laughs> I like to walk at night when, when it's dark. It seems like it goes faster. During the daytime, it seems slow, but uh, when it's dark, uh, it, it seems to go by quicker. Well, we live in the country, and uh, we live on a road where it's just a mile long, and um, we got roosters, and there are about four or five of them, and as I walked along, I must have, some kind of vibes or something, they started crowing, and they were talking back and forth, about four or five of them, and uh, 
that probably made my uh, neighbors real happy when the roosters went off at four o'clock in the morning. And then added to that, a couple of dogs started talking to each other. And by the time I got home, about an hour later, why, uh, we had a regular concert going on up and down that road. But it's, it, was, it was fun. I was introduced to wrestling at San Jose State when I was a junior. I had transferred from Modesto Junior College and went to San Jose. And uh, I'd been on a football team that fall and uh, the winter came along and uh, uh, the wrestling, uh, I didn't know what wrestling was. The only wrestling I knew about was what we used to see back home uh, you know, at the Uptown Arena where Pepper Gomez and Haystack Calhoun and uh, I mean, Gorgeous George. Uh, you guys remember those names? Well, we had them in Modesto. I uh, w went to the library this one afternoon and uh, it was on a Saturday and I walked by the gym and there was a lot of noise going on. So I looked in the gym and what was in there were about four or five mats and there was a wrestling tournament going on. As I walked in that first door, there's a guy down there in a high bridge with his eyeballs sticking out <laughs> and the guy's on top of him trying to break his bridge and I'm looking and I'm saying, who the hell wants to be in this sport? <laughs> about two or three days later, Ted Mumby got me and put me in the wrestling room and the rest of it's history. And I fell in love with the sport. I, that day when I saw that guy down there, I said, there's no way. And sure enough, uh, he grabbed me and I, I was sold on it. I, uh, I mentioned Ted Mumby. Is Hugh here tonight? His, uh, I'm probably one of the few people still living that wrestled at San Jose State for the two mummies, with uh, Ted, the father, the older father, uh, as a junior, and then he retired, and then Hugh, his son, took over after that, and my senior year, I wrestled for him. It was, uh, that's just a little bit of information if you're ever in a, you know, a quiz program and they ask you that question, <laughs> that's your answer. <laughs> In 1956, I went to Modesto High School and uh, started a wrestling program there. And I was blessed, I know all coaches say this, they're blessed with great material and so forth, but I really was. There were some great kids there, and they were hungry and wanted to learn. And a couple of them are here tonight. Uh, Lee Erner, who was up here just a little while ago, and uh, Leroy Evans down there. Where are you, Leroy? You're over there someplace. Uh, were on those teams, and uh, uh, the, the proof is in the pudding. They were great kids because they're in the Hall of Fame now. That must mean something. I, uh, I know that uh, when I left uh, Modesto High to go cross town to the new high school, the Davis High School, the same thing happened there to where lots of good just raw bone material came through and uh, we had a successful program. There was one family, one family that produced great kids for us. And I'd like them to stand up. There's eight of them over there, eight brothers. The O'Brien brothers, you guys stand up. The patriarch, Frank O'Brien, where are you? He's a guy that jumped off the over here a little while ago. <laughs> and he did a great job. Yeah, they, those kids, uh, they, he kept us in business for a while. <laughs> there, are eight, uh, there are six sisters that go along with that. It's a great family, I tell you. Great family. In the 60s, rather in the... Uh, In the, uh, in the 50s, of course, 
the, the leaders in our program at Modesto High were guys like Leroy Evans and, and uh, Lee Earler and others. And in the, uh, in the uh, 60s at Davis High School, I had guys, leaders like uh, Mike O'Brien out of the family there and his brothers. Uh, and then in the 70s, of course, we had uh, John Azevedo, who I think most of you probably have heard of, uh, was the leader of our group. There were other people too. Uh, I got Alan Abraham's name down here. He, he wrestled for uh, Turlock, just south of us. And uh, I remember the first time uh, he came out on the mat uh, to wrestle against us in a dual match. Uh, he took off his warm-up, and I looked, and I said, man, I think I chose the wrong profession. <laughs> this guy, he looked, he looked like somebody carved out of a rock. And uh, uh, we hung with him, and of course he went on to be uh, a great wrestling coach at San Francisco State. Anyway, those are just some of those, the people that, uh, that I had a, or that I crossed paths with over the years. Old guys, old guys that coached. Uh, I remember uh, at San Jose, in the San Jose on the Peninsula, guys like Sam Della Maggiore at San Jose High School. Does anybody remember that name? Yeah. Remember that name? Okay, and uh, at, uh, I think at Wilcox, uh, Warren Hibashi. Uh, over uh, on the, in the East Bay, uh, Marv Comstock, uh, that was a piece of work, that guy, and uh, uh, John Owings, and uh, Galley at, uh, at uh, where the hell was that? <laughs> anyway, he, he had Northern California champions about two years in a row, the team championship. Anyway, those are guys that we got to compete against. Somebody mentioned Vern Brooks, and I remember we had to go against him when he was down in, at uh, Madera. Um, I, uh, I'll just wrap it up this way. Wrestling has been very good to me. I've been able to uh, uh, cross paths with a ton of good people. And I will always remember that. And uh, I, I thank God for having had the opportunity to, uh, to experience those experiences. Thank you very much. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dan Gonzalez. And he, uh, he misspelled the, he misspelled your plaque. <laughs> <laughs> they said they're going to give you a new one. That's, that's